We know from current available evidence that the COVID-19 virus is transmitted through respiratory droplets and close contact with infected individuals following coughing and sneezing. These droplets can be inhaled into the lungs by people who are close by and may also land on objects and surfaces around the infected person. Hence, the virus can be contracted by touching these contaminated objects or surfaces and then touching their eyes, nose or mouth. The people most at risk are healthcare workers who work in close contact with COVID-19 patients or caregivers caring for people infected with COVID-19. Hence, we made this video to demonstrate the correct steps on how to correctly put on and remove PPE. Now let's begin by following the chart on the sequence for putting on PPE and observing the isolation room signage on droplet and contact precautions. You should have an allocated area for putting on PPE before you enter the patient's room and before contact with the patient. Ensure you have a trained buddy or supervisor who will assist you with the procedures for putting on and removal of PPE or use a mirror if this is not possible. Step 1. Gather all PPE supplies and check for correct sizes. Ensure all personal items, example ring, watch, bracelet, mobile phone, are removed and your hair is tied back if necessary. Step 2. Perform hand hygiene with either an alcohol-based hand rub for 20 to 30 seconds or with soap and water for 40 to 60 seconds using the WHO technique with the following steps. Apply the product in a cupped hand and rub palm to palm and then right palm over the back of the left hand with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Next, rub palm to palm with fingers interlaced then back of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Next is rotational rubbing of the left thumb clasped in the right palm and vice versa followed by rotational rubbing back and forwards with clasped fingers on the right hand in the left palm and vice versa. Once your hands are dry, they are now safe. Step 3. Put on your gown. Now that you are ready to put on your PPE, check that the equipment is intact and not damaged. Put on your gown. Ensure your gown does not touch any surfaces such as the floors or walls. Tie the gown around the back of the neck and waist. Step 4. If you are going to carry out an aerosol generating procedure or assist with any airway management procedure or if the patient is on airborne precautions, you must put on an N95, FFP2, FFP3 or equivalent respirator mask instead of a medical mask. Place the respirator mask over your nose and mouth and pull the elastic bands over your head. Place the upper band above the ear line and the lower band below the ear line. Ensure the straps are not overlapping or crossed. Place fingertips on both hands on the molding nose strip over the bridge of the nose. Mold the nose piece using two fingers on each hand to the shape of your nose, applying pressure on the sides of the nose to get a snug fit. To perform a seal check, place your hands on the top and on the sides of your face without touching the mask and exhale sharply. There should be no air escaping from the top and the side of the mask. This means that a positive pressure is inside the respirator. If there is a leakage of air, adjust the position of the straps and test again until there is no leakage. Step 5 is the protective eyewear. If you choose to wear a face shield, the forehead band should sit half to one inch above the eyebrows with the bottom of the shield sitting below the chin level. Step 6. Finally, put on gloves. The gloves should be pulled over the cuff of the isolation gown and ensure that all skin is covered and not exposed. You must ensure that your buddy or supervisor checks that all your PPE is put on correctly and you are comfortable. If you do not have a buddy, 
use a mirror to check. Once these steps is completed, you are now ready to enter the patient's room. The location of removal of PPE is at the doorway to the patient room or in an anteroom. It is also important to note that respirators should be taken off outside the patient's room once the door is closed. Ensure that you have a supervisor or buddy to guide you with the correct steps in the removal of PPE. If not available, use a mirror. The PPE chart on the sequence for removal of PPE must be followed very closely. The most difficult challenge in the removal of PPE is to avoid contamination of self or the environment with contaminated PPE equipment. The first step is to remove the gloves. Take care to never touch the skin with the outside of either gloves. The glove is the most soiled PPE item that need to be removed first and discarded safely. Grasp the outside of the first gloved hand with opposite hand and peel off. Now hold the removed glove and with your ungloved hand, slide your finger just under the wrist of the gloved hand and peel over the first glove and discard gloves in a waste bin. Step 2. Perform hand hygiene with an alcohol-based hand rub for 20 to 30 seconds using the following steps. Step 3. Remove gown. Now, to remove the disposable gown, undo ties at the neck and waist and roll off from neck and shoulders, making sure to keep the gown away from touching your clothes. Turn the gown inside out and roll the gown into a bundle and discard in a waste bin. Step 4. Perform hand hygiene with an alcohol-based hand rub for 20 to 30 seconds using the following steps. Step 5. Remove protective eyewear. Do not touch the front of the face shield. Remove eye protection from behind the head and place in a container for reprocessing. Next is step 6. Remove mask. To remove the mask, be careful not to touch the front of the mask. Grasp the top tape and then the bottom tape from behind with your hands and lift carefully overhead and remove, discard in a bin. Finally, perform hand hygiene with an alcohol-based hand rub for 20 to 30 seconds using the following steps.